What's up, Jaders? TMMA here, and welcome to another survival let's play. Oh my god. This one is episode 54. Look at how tall this thing is. We're gonna keep going. One every episode. We're gonna get to the limit, even though it's being raised soon in 1.17. We're gonna do it. We are going to have... Okay. So, what have I done in between episodes? This is like every single episode. Absolutely nothing. And what do I want to do this one? Well, probably already know from the thumbnail. I want to do another perimeter. This one will be a witch. Witch perimeter. Because I'm getting astronomically low on, um, redstone. And like, I don't want to mine. This game is not Minecraft. Mine. That's disgusting. We gotta make a farm. So, instead of rambling on, let's, um, start it. First step, find a witch's hut. Witch hut has been found and secured. I have marked out the corners of every single spawning space. So, from there to there, they can spawn. I think it's a 7 by 9 area, 7 blocks bottom to top. They, they spawn on top of that block. So, on top of the blocks that I've placed anywhere inside of this square. So, second step, I'm gonna... Um, build a portal, because my base is kind of 8,000 blocks that away. So, um, yeah, I'll have to build a portal. Oh, wait a second, I've already done it. This is where the, um, portal will be. It's 128 blocks away from my spawning, well, from where I'll be AFKing this farm for when it's done. No, it's not 128, it's more than 128, it's about 150. Yeah, so I'll spawn here and be able to overlook the entire perimeter swag. So third step, I don't really know. I'm gonna mark out how big I want the perimeter to be. Alright, we got the big Nero inbound. <laughs> no! Four hours and 30... Four minutes later, and I'm done. I had to flatten the mounds out for how I'm going to be doing this perimeter. And, well, you'll see soon. I just needed to get the perimeter below that. A, l a few blocks below that. And you know what? I did it. It took four hours and a half, but it's done. I think I'm just gonna remove all the beacons and leave all the iron there. Oh, and also... I'm a hoarder, so I kept every single block. You see those six over there? They've got nothing in them. Every single purple shulker box right here. Just full, full of regret. Sad thing is I'm gonna have to sort all of this when I'm back at base. But leave today's problem for tomorrow's me. Oh, and by the way, when this thing is done, I'm gonna flatten out the mountains so it doesn't look like they've just been cut in half. Shut up! Step three. I'm going to build a big platform just everywhere. Everywhere on this height. Skipping e every fourth block. Okay. This will take forever. I lied, I lied, I lied! The platform thing is in step three. That's step four. Step three, clear out all the water. Okay, that's what I'm doing, all right? God, friggin' douche. Yeah. The water do be gone, though. Surprisingly, it only took two hours and six minutes. I've spent six hours and a half on this video, and I've got, what, three, four minutes? I thought it was going to take a lot longer because of this big bit right here, but I figured out a really easy way to get rid of it all. So the bits that were three high, I just left on in the open. Well, actually, no. I started to do that and then realized it just took longer. The bits that were three high, I done five blocks wide in one long column, then just placed sponges going all the way along and the water couldn't regenerate because I was always taking it out. I am Moses, I am parting the sea. And then for the ones that were more than three blocks deep, like four blocks, I had done this and I just womp womp sponges everywhere in a five by five box. Time for step four. Yeah, four. Time for step four. When I said platform before, I didn't mean like one solid platform. I meant like rows. Rows of blocks. Yeah. Guilt. 
see like hmm, right now. <laughs> this took seven hours. Seven hours to do. I hate it. I hate it. I so much. Okay, let's move on. Um, I started off doing dirt like this to show off where I needed to put the dispensers. Oh, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put dispensers down all along these every three blocks and blow them up and it'll be amazing. That's how I'm digging it out. And I had to do a second platform underneath because this is how I have to place them. Like that, and then just, oh, uh, one, two, three. Oh. Uh, I probably don't need to do it every, every single one, wouldn't I? Just every three, maybe. Ooh, every four, maybe. All right, so I can place them every four, so leave, yeah, okay, just four. That'll save a bit of redstone, which is a big issue I'm going to have. Just, just a tad, just a tad of an issue. You see, I, I just done all the, the math, and, um, I need... 3,844 dispensers, which is more than a double chest. 961 repeaters isn't too much. 14,094 redstone, which is a lot. Redstone needed all up to craft the repeaters and dispensers and have enough to place. 20,821, which is 12 shulker boxes and... Oh my god, I messed up the wording there. And six double chesters. Oh my god. It would have been easier just to dig. Just to dig the hole, man. What am I doing? I don't care. It's gonna look cool the way I destroy it. I don't know how long I'm gonna have to mine for. Earlier I said, oh yeah, do this so you don't have to mine. I freaking got beaten the butt for that one. Gee willikers. Ah. And this is how much redstone, all the redstone that I got. What was it? 12 shulker boxes? I would need this many redstone blocks. Not dust, the blocks. Imagine it's all friggin' dust. I need this amount times 12. Swag. Let's, uh, get to mining. Uh, well, this was a, a horrible angle to record from. Anyways. Well, it took a week, but I did it. Was it worth it? Yes, because I got the redstone. I spent about 15 hours digging all up within the week. So only about two hours a day. Some days I done four hours, some days I didn't. But look at it all. It's all done. Not only did I save the redstone, though, I kind of, um, have all these chests. Don't worry, not all of them are full. A lot of them are, though. A lot more than I thought. Cut off from here. These ones on the right, they're not full. These ones on the left, almost all of them are full. Other than this one right here, all every single slot is full. Um, yeah. So now, moving on to the task that I wanted to do the least. I have to craft the dispensers. Yay me. So, in order to craft the dispensers, you need bows. And no, you can't stack bows. I need to craft 3,844 individual dispensers. Oh man, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's the best time to be alive. Well, I can't really near it because it's a first person thing. I could I could near all just me going back and forth getting strings and crap. You know what? I'm doing it. Useless neural, useless neural. It only it only took about an hour and a half, but I got all of the dispensers crafted. Yay! I even crafted the redstone repeaters, but I didn't do that during the neural cuz boring. Let's go over to the witch area. So, next step for this project is this, the annoying bit. Probably the most tedious bit. Actually, no, 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 nowhere near. But I gotta do it. I gotta break a block every three blocks and then dispenser. Let's go. <coughs> Surprisingly, this didn't take as long as I thought it would. It only took three hours and a half. I know that sounds like a lot, but compared to how long it t took to place these these platforms and the one down below, which I also broke in the neural. It's not that much. But now, before I said this would be the most daunting bit, and then I was like, no. Well, the next step is the reason why. Oh, 
What step would this be? I done. Are you? Oh, I used to do steps back at the start of the video, but that was like two weeks ago for me. First step, which? Second step, water. No, second step, outline of perimeter. Third step, water. Fourth step, flattening the mountain. Fifth step, these platforms. Sixth step, mining. Does mining count as a step? No, I'm not counting the mining. Sixth step was this, was placing all of these down. All right. So seventh step is the most daunting step. What I want to do is I want to put a stack of TNT in every single dispenser. But that means I have to go gather the supplies to craft all the TNT. Which is why it's so daunting. The gunpowder to make the TNT, not that hard. It's just, um, the sand. So all up, I need, um... 980,000 sand. Yeah, I don't know how long that's gonna take me. It's probably gonna take me more than a week. Pro definitely longer than a week. So I could just sit here and complain about how long it's gonna take, or I could just get started. So I'm gonna sit here and complain a bit. 900. I do be digging the sand. Look at me go. I've done it. I, it took 20 days, but I've done it. All of these chests here are full. I have mined 1 million sand. Let me go to my statistics. Look! Before this was 900,000. Oh, man. What is wrong with me? See, it was already high because of the other project. But now it's more than double. What? See all of these? These are the individual clips that I recorded. This last one is 3 hours 34 minutes. It all equals up to 39 hours and a half in the past 20 days. So, yeah, almost two hours a day working on it. Nice. If I really wanted to, I could have done six hours a day, but that's brain numbing. Okay, it's time. Next step. I'm done digging sand. Now it's time to craft it. So... I AFK'd this earlier, my, the, this is my first time AFKing the creeper farm for longer than two minutes. I AFKed it for about 40 minutes and, well, you get a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. That's just 40 minutes. So I'm gonna have to AFK this entire thing to fill up all the chests for about half an hour at a time. Many, many times. Over and over. Cause I don't... I won't be able to fit enough chests there to, you know, you know what, if you have a brain, you'll understand. If you don't, well, just give up. I'm crafting TNT, alright? The crafting of TNT has been completed. Every single chest here, besides this one at the top left, is full. Yeah. That's astounding. That's crazy. Oh my god. All up, I've got 245,808 in these chests. The project is almost completed. It's almost over. So, let's move on to the second step. Set no. Friggin' idiot. Second last step of the project. I've got to move all the TNT from in that little box there, all the way over here to my witch farm perimeter project. And then, I have to fill every single one of these dispensers up with one stack of TNT. I'm probably making it sound worse than it is. That's exactly what I have to do, but it's the way I'm saying it, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna do it. And then after that, I'm gonna do all this in one neural, and then I'll just be done. I'm gonna fill up one disp each dispenser with a stack of TNT, and I'm gonna do all the redstone on top as well in one neural. So that's my second last step. Let's go. <coughs> Guys, it's time. The dispensers, every single one of these, full. The redstone is placed. In the past 40 days, I have spent 76 hours on this project. And was it all worth it? We'll see soon. Without further ado, I'm gonna turn my webcam off. I'm gonna press this button. And I'm gonna go sit somewhere and just watch one full explosion. Remember, this isn't- it's not gonna be, like, one massive explosion. It's gonna be layer by layer. But, we'll do the first layer with each other. And then- and then I'll just near the rest of it. Alright! Let's do this! I have no idea how fast it's gonna blow up. I have no idea how fast it's gonna go around in the little ring, but... Oh!
Oh! Holy crap! Holy crap! What the heck? That is so fast! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the hell? I thought it was going to be so much slower! Oh my gosh! It's beautiful! It's just going in, layer by layer! Ring by ring! Holy crap! And it, it just gets faster and faster each inner ring it goes to. Let's get a better view. Oh my god. Look at how fast it's going now compared to when it started. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh wow! That was... Oh wow! That was the best! <laughs> oh man! I'm so happy right now! I can't believe it worked perfectly first try! I was so expecting something to go wrong, like I misplaced one redstone and nothing would work. But, oh my god, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. You saw that, right? That was so good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Genuine happiness, already. No animal lived. None. That's what I'm happy about. That's, that's the best part of this. None of them live. They are all dead. I think it's time to go near this now, layer by layer. Now, it's not always going to be fun like this the entire time through. I'm going to have to remove lava and water. A lot of it, too. But still, this was amazing. I'm so happy. Time to go near it. Let's go. We've got a long near ahead of us. I feel like it's worthy of one. 20 seconds, not a problem. Entirely worthy. It's picked up Thor's hammer. Removing the lava was by far the longest thing. Look at how quick it blows up and then how long it takes to remove it. Yes. Now. Woo! I'm in the hole! Look at all the slimes. Oh my god. That's so annoying. But look at how flat this is. I purposely made it at that height so it would drop down just to the bedrock and I would only have to mine one layer. Because I didn't... Oh, go away. Oh, my God. Go away. I wanted it so we would only have to break one layer because I, I didn't want it to hit the bedrock and then break blocks underneath the bedrock. And then mobs could spawn on some blocks when I placed the, the design layer above the bedrock. That's a lot of times I said bedrock. Anyways, it's done. We blew it up. Now it's time to move on to a sore subject. The only reason I haven't used sand and TNT dupes is pretty much because... I wanted to do fun ways to remove perimeters like this, but I've exhausted all my ideas. The only ideas I had was one big explosion and this. So I think I'm going to allow TNT and sand dupers, not only for fun, but also for time, because this took 80 hours. If I had TNT and sand dupers, it wouldn't. You know what? Actually, I don't care. If you guys want to vote on it, and if you guys vote no, don't allow them, I'd be fine with that. Oh, if I if I figure out how, I'll put a poll up. Where, where would it be? The top right? I think. I don't know. Or just comment yes, TNT dupers, or no TNT dupers. But anyways, that's, 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 um, gonna end it now. It's over. Thanks for watching. You better... Friggin' do the things that are showing up on screen. Nah, you see. Nah.